Yeah, definitely. So you, you mentioned Tableau and then there's the, the other ones that you hear are sort of Python and R. So can you explain to the layman, you know, what they what they are, what the differences are? Um, do you use both of them or do you prefer to use one or the other? Um, and just where they sit in in the kind of scope of creating these data visuals that you do? Yeah, so as I said before, I mean, um, you, in terms of coding, you have Python, you have R, you have other languages as well, but sort of Python and R are typically the most used across sort of the, the Twitter community and and in data analysis in, in general. Um, essentially, it's, it's, a, it's another language, put it in layman's terms. Mm -hmm. It's essentially um, software where you can create data visuals or uh, run data analysis through various different methods. But essentially how it works is there are online packages which do certain functions. So whether that be creating percentile ranks or whether that be a specific package of software to create a radar chart. Um, there's, there's, there's really loads of functions and being brutally honest, I'm probably not the best person to to ask about, but in layman terms, it's 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 a coding language which you can use as an online software, um, where you're able to um, perform either statistical analysis or create data visualizations. Mm -hmm. But there's so many other things to it. Like I, as I said, I really only sort of scratch the um, the surface of, of of coding. I personally use Python. Yeah. Um, as I said, again the the way I've learned is through other people's tutorials online yeah. um, and asking a serious amount of help from other people. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we started off sort of again through Twitter, Mackay John's tutorials. So I talk about his uh, tutorials in my um, recent blog post, but essentially he will run through the basics of how to install the software to how to install the different packages and then actually step-by-step -step process of getting the data, cleaning the data, and then creating the data visualization ready for it to be to be shared. Um, and yeah, it's just it's just eye opening. So for me, sort of tried to pick it up middle of last year and just found it too complicated, didn't really have the time and just didn't really learn it properly. And then as I said, since since having a bit more free time since leaving the role at Wigan, I've been very much able to to sit down and try and uh, and learn these packages. But what I would say is, is that for, for anyone wanting to get into coding, I don't think that just jumping into a tutorial of how to do it is necessarily the best way. I think if you're gonna learn coding language and you do want to learn it, I would recommend doing a course or starting looking at FC Python, for example, who are a, a uh, an online account which will share uh, resources as to the the basics of okay how to run a line of code how do you do a sum of two plus two and then essentially we just build it up lesson by lesson so fc python have got a lot of tutorials um, and there's there is quite a lot uh, available online on youtube which i do talk about in, in that blog post as well but for me i think i probably didn't learn it the best way to start off with uh, by jumping into tutorial, but I would definitely recommend going away, trying to understand the basics behind it, and then going into a tutorial of, of okay, what is it I want to do, and try and learn step by step. And if I'm being honest, a lot of it is completely trial and error. Um, there's a uh, loads of forums on, online as to right, I've got this error code. What does that mean? And yeah. essentially, from running errors and finding errors with the work I'm creating and searching what that means. That's how I've been able to, I wouldn't even get to, I wouldn't even say I'm at a basic level. I'm very much still an amateur, but I've started to gain an understanding of, of, of why certain things are happening when I'm trying to create data visuals. Yeah. Um, as you said, there is also R, so I that there is literally no difference between the packages apart from very slight uh, nuances with um, code. Um, as I say, I, I don't use it, so I can't comment loads, but essentially it's the same thing it's a there's a coding language which you're able to have different packages and create a data visualizations off the back of them what i will say is if you're looking at which one to start in uh i picked python because i thought it might actually be more relatable to my uh day job and try and just sort of general wider wider skills for potentially other roles in the future um again not, that's not to say that's 
that's the best one to go for. A lot of the people in the Twitter community do use R, and there are a lot more packages to be able that have already got essentially tutorials and the code already there to create data visuals. So uh, if you're wanting to sort of pick it up, get up and go, I'd probably say R because there's a lot of packages available already. Equally, there's really not much difference other than it's just a different language. Yeah.